What's up, Azaku fam? We are the Otaku Couple, back with more reactions here for the channel with some more Emerichu. She randomly dropped a new video, and because we couldn't bring y'all the last Anime Cafe video you did, because it was almost an hour long and we didn't have time, sorry, we have, I traveled 200 miles for a Demon Slayer Cafe. I would too. Oh, Emily, don't you ever change, you... I want to meet her so bad. <laughs> so because be, she's you? I would be like, listen. It's because you're the same person. <laughs> we would get along so well. I'm just saying, have you guys ever seen Emily and Lauren in the same room together? Oh, no, you haven't. So I'm just saying, just putting that out there. Thank you guys for the continued support. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Go check out Emerichi if you haven't somehow seen her content before. Go check out all the Geeks Plus members' content. You won't be disappointed. Let's hop on in. I promise I'm not turning into a channel that just makes cafe content, okay? Yes, I know my last video was literally a 44-minute video about That's cafes. That's what I'm but I saying. Promise, I still want to watch that. I have a very that. good reason for traveling all the way to Sendai for a Demon Slayer cafe Ooh, and making this video. That's pretty. Number one, there is technically a permanent Demon Slayer cafe in Tokyo, which is where I live. And it's at Ufotable Cafe, which operates on a weekly nice. lottery system. And I've actually mm. applied to Ufotable Cafe several times. And I have been rejected about... <laughs> seven times oh. it doesn't matter if i applied for 9 a.m on a tuesday morning i was unsuccessful every time and eventually i just gave up so when it was announced that no this pop-up cafe would not require reservations and also not be in busy tokyo All right, i good. thought this would be my only chance to eat a demon yeah, camera themed froze cafe again menu, which many people have requested Number two, there was an exhibit happening alongside the cafe and i really enjoy exhibits so i thought that would make the journey even more worth it and number three, most importantly, the menu looked incredible. I'm not going to show it now because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay. But the menu looked way better than what you would at find that. at your average collab cafe. And of I'm just saying, as we've seen, if you haven't seen our other reactions to her previous anime cafe videos. Don't eat pasta. Don't I'm do just it, saying, she, she ordered some stuff that I thought, why? Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> It might have sounded and looked good on paper, but you should have known in your deepest heart of hearts that that wasn't going to go well. So we'll see what happens. Of course, happens. I wouldn't be going through all this trouble if I wasn't actively keeping up with the recently finished season of Demon Slayer, which I was able to do thanks to NordVPN. Oh. I've nice. only been using this VPN to Look watch Look at you with the NordVPN sponsor. By the way, guys, we reacted to Demon Slayer over on our accessible. Patreon. Link's down below. Like you should check it out. Alone, so I brought along Deru, who at this point is extremely used to getting roped into my spontaneous cafe adventures well there but you also, go she's a big demon slayer fan <laughs> she decided the thing. smartest thing to do Good would pick. be to take the bullet Love train Shinobu. to sendai the night before so that we could head straight to the exhibit the day after rather than force she's ourselves to leave super Hashira. early in the morning the shinkansen from tokyo to sendai cost 11,410 yen per person favorites. and on top of Rest that even though the cafe is... didn't require reservations the exhibit did oh. and it was 3,710 oh. yen per person so we booked two for 10 a.m. on the 25th of July. Jesus. And since we were staying overnight, we also booked a hotel that was close to the venue, Aww. which cost 8,874 yen. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> the strawberry wine. <laughs> Save me! <laughs> so we the the 24th and got some yaki niku for dinner at Nikugen Sendai, where we ordered some tasty wow. meat stairs. And my favorite meat thing stairs. was this thinly sliced beef mixed with egg yolk over rice. It was so Ooh. good. Nikugen isn't unique to Sendai, but we the really FOMO wanted something real. meaty and big <laughs> distance to our hotel. It was a very satisfying dinner and just what I needed to knock out early so I'd be well rested for a very busy morning. What In the morning, we woke up bright and early to get ready for our 10 a.m. exhibit reservation, and I decided to wear a Mitsuri Kanroji-inspired outfit. <laughs> she's my favorite character. Yes. Unfortunately, I was only allowed to take a picture of the display at the very beginning of the exhibit. All other photography or video recording was strictly prohibited. All the manga The closest stuff, okay. thing I can show you are some pictures of the exhibit in a pamphlet I bought at the merch store, but even then, I can't show you everything, because if you haven't finished reading the manga, the exhibit has a heavy amount of spoilers. So for the sake of the anime-only viewers, I can't show everything. Since I don't have video footage of the exhibit, I'm just going to very briefly describe exactly what we saw. And That's if you're so like, wild. Emily, I don't care about the exhibit. I just want to see the cafe. Then feel free to use the timestamps to skip ahead. <laughs> so we'll never do that. We're going to give you that no, watch time, Emily. The <laughs> manga pages drawn by Koyoharu Gotoge. And since this was the first time I'd ever seen the original uh, manga pages of anything, I was really surprised at how big the pages were in person. 
because you sort of get used to viewing manga in their much smaller book form yeah. or through like online scans. That would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, I read really manga through my phone really now. And to me good God, even reading a physical manga is way blue different sketch now. Lines peeking around the line art mm. and all the spots where Gotoge used white out to fix inking mistakes and add white detailing. And you could see the pen strokes in the inking. Also for depth. Like there's so many little details in the art that you wouldn't notice in the scans. And the skill and technique really show in these original pages. Like, I started tearing up a little bit while going around the exhibit because I was just in awe of how much work and skill went into every panel. And getting to see a mangaka's original work up close and personal like that is just really inspiring for me as an artist. They also had a lot of really cool displays for each Hashira and a statue recreation of Muzan. But again, no pictures allowed, unfortunately. Since then, Trotting I've actually gone form. to a Death Note manga exhibit where we were allowed to take pictures of the displays, but not the original manga pages, which were incredible to look at in person. That's a and dope statue. And a Yotsubato manga exhibit where they surprisingly let us take pictures of everything. Like, I'm wholly convinced that Kiyohiko Azuma is not a real human being because his attention to detail is insane. Both of these titles have been a huge part of my childhood, so... It was honestly incredible getting to see their That's original so cool. manga pages and illustrations. Would, I know you would yes. love to do so something that like say, that. I really highly would. recommend going to a manga mm. exhibit if you get the chance. I promise it's a really, really cool experience. And ticket prices are surprisingly not that expensive. I would Probably nice. because they know you're going to blow all your money anyway on the merch that they always have at oh, the yeah. end. For sure. Speaking <laughs> of which... The merch store at the end had a ton of stuff. <laughs> the wallet. I messaged my friend Hannah to ask if she was interested in any of the goods since she's a really big Demon Slayer fan. She let me know which ones caught her interest and said, feel free to pick one or two and surprise me, but please do not actually buy them all and blow your money, okay? Emily. Okay. So naturally, I got everything she pointed out to me. Yeah. Right. This included a box of Demon Slayer printed cookies, Aww, a set of colored those. paper art, an acrylic That's block, sense a set of acrylic minifigures, and a wooden tray with Tanjiro's image. Oh, For okay. myself, mm -hmm. I got a plastic like poster, that. a file folder set with the exhibit illustrations, and oh, a wow. second file folder set which had the cutest art, some Demon Slayer Yokan for the Geeks Plus office, a ticket oh, holder, okay. the exhibit pamphlet book, a sticker set, a bottle of ramen candies made to look like medicine from Tamayo, and my personal favorite, a little Nesco mm. box keychain with a peephole that revealed a tiny little Nesco sitting <laughs> in the box. Oh my gosh. Freebie for attending All right, that's cute. I also cool, received though. a thank you illustration featuring Tanjiro and Nesco. And lastly, for Didus, I purchased this box of Demon Slayer bath salts, which had unique scents for each character. Oh. Next stop the was the cafe. The hell does smell like Luckily mountain for man? Us, it was a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon in Sendai. Musk. There was zero wait time, so we were Bore. seated immediately. <laughs> we were only allowed to take pictures of the cafe area, so please bear with this slideshow, but the walls were basically giant screens where they showed various manga panels showcasing each of the nine Hashira, and they cycled through the cover illustrations of all the manga volumes. Hell yeah. I thought this was really cool. These screens were huge, and I got really excited every time it looped back to Meet City's panels. <laughs> the cafe was also really nice and spacious, and as soon as we sat down, we were given a menu and a checklist to mark off all the things that we wanted to order. And we got quite a bit, starting oh, with... Oh lord, here we go. Tanjiro's water breathing float. This was a melon soda float with cream and white chocolate waves. We thought the presentation of this drink was really well done, and it tasted pretty good. Okay. The Kocho Sisters Ramen Float. <laughs> this drink included butterfly pea jelly combined with ramen, which is apparently Kanao's favorite food. That's this beautiful. was a really tasty combination, and the it addition of the butterfly-shaped mm -hmm. chocolate was a really nice touch. Oh, that's chocolate. Okay. Muzan Soft Cream. Wow. <laughs> This was a milk-flavored soft-serve ice cream in a bamboo charcoal cone topped with dry raspberries, cookie crumble, and raspberry chocolate made to resemble tentacles. Ooh. Daru really enjoyed this one, and she finished it all by herself. <laughs> I also ordered an Inosuke-printed character latte just for <laughs> cute art. I think I would have preferred foam instead of thick cream, but the latte tasted fine. The sun breathing kima curry. Wow. Oh. This was the most delicious item we ordered. They were fried seasoned spring roll skins shaped to resemble Tanjiro's fire breathing technique That's... with rice, ground beef, and fresh tomatoes at the bottom. Okay. This one was super crunchy, savory, and That flavorful. looks like the one that I probably enjoy the, the most, most so far. I'm not a sweet item guy, guys. on the menu was <laughs> a Hashira themed gozen set with a taste wow. of the favorite foods of all nine Hashira. Oh. It also came with a sheet detailing which dish represented each Hashira. Okay. There was 
salmon and radish for tomioka, that sweet potato salad for rengoku, ginger tsukudani for shinobu, fugu sashimi for uzui, boiled sense. radish for muichiro, tororo kombu for obanai, ohagi for sanemi, sakura mochi for mitsuri, that and rice sense. with salmon roe for gyome. I thought this was a really impressive and creative set meal, and it was really fun to try all the different flavors. For dessert, we ordered the Nesco Bamboo Chocolate. <laughs> this gorgeous dessert, made to look like Nesco's bamboo cup, was made with chocolate, and inside there was berry puree, bittersweet chocolate cream, and crunchy crepe dough. Okay. Nesco's favorite food is confeito, which are those little star candies. So there was also a little garnish of confeito around the plate. This was such a visually pleasing dish, but it was a bit too chocolatey for me personally. So after trying some, I but let Daru handle the rest of it, and she completely cleaned the plate. <laughs> <laughs> One thing to know about me is if you go eating out with me, you are guaranteed an extra helping of dessert. In addition to the items you order to eat in, there were also a few items available for takeout that we decided to purchase. One was a beef nabe bento made to look like the beef bento oh, Rango okay. we ate in the Mugen Train movie. Delicious! Sukiyaki was made with beef from Sendai and Hitomebore rice from Miyagi Prefecture. We saved it to eat on the train back home to Tokyo, and it was, in fact, umai. <laughs> the second takeout item was Rengoku's Memento Chocolate, which was white, raspberry, and passion fruit chocolate Ooh. made to look like the handguard of his sword. I know okay. you don't Lastly, like sweets, but that sounds delicious. Lastly, we had to get these Inosuke delicious. cookies. They were so stinking <laughs> oh adorable. God. So I bought one to take home and one to share with the Geeks Plus office. After a very oh, yeah. fun and filling meal, <laughs> Daru and I decided to do some shopping at Loft before we headed back home. So we browsed the stationery aisle, yes. I found the perfect birthday gift for Connor, <laughs> and I got myself a super cute strawberry printed UV oh. sun umbrella and this rain umbrella shaped like a dahlia. Sendai. Alright, well don't get your umbrella stolen again, Emily. Oh, <laughs> it's also known for their Zunda shakes, which is basically edamame boiled and mashed and mixed with sugar and blended with milk. Huh. It was an interesting flavor, but to, to say, be honest, that I wasn't like, really a fan. I, I wouldn't have Even probably though we either, were in but Sendai it sounded interesting. I'd try it. It was a really fun trip, and I know this will probably not be the last time I go on an overnight cafe-motivated excursion. Oh, it's definitely not. <laughs> if we're just looking at the costs of Shinkansen tickets, hotel, exhibit tickets, merchandise, and cafe food, for two people, this entire trip cost 117,164 yen which in today's conversion rate is around $800. So this Sheesh. definitely takes the crown for the most expensive cafe trip I've ever done. But I'd say it was worth it. I give this cafe a glowing <laughs> five out of five. Well, okay. For those of you interested in this particular exhibit, it will be held next in Okayama from no. December 15th to February 18th. Additional information hasn't been released yet at the time of this recording, so I actually don't know if they're going to be doing a collab cafe as well. I'll be including a link to the overview of the event if you want to stay updated. Oh, is this the bath bomb? Yes. Wow, looks like demon blood. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> want to see if he tells what it smells like. I'm just curious uh, or not. not. We got like three seconds. Yeah, no, nope. he's not gonna. <laughs> it sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. It's funny that Dinus likes baths and bath salts. That's it's adorable. Yeah. We got it. Someone's got to figure out if if. Emily's got the world record for her most anime cafes right. gone to. My God. <laughs> but we lived through her for now. Yep. That looks so awesome. I want to go to a, a manga. Oh, yeah. Go to a manga exhibit. Would I would honestly dope. probably cry. Probably. Yeah. Because I was like. You've um, done that before when you've gone to art. Yeah. Like yeah. exhibits for like animation studios yeah, and stuff because we got to see um or i got to go see the the actual um hard copies of like land before time like those mm -hmm. frame by frame drawings for the animation and that movie already made me cry as a child so getting to see the scenes just hand drawn yeah oh my god i have pictures still on my phone i was like it's beautiful I would cry. I, I really would. I want to see that. That would be awesome. Yeah. I would be at home. Well, thank you, Emily, for letting us live vicariously through you for these anime cafe videos. Otaku fam, let us know down below in the comments what your favorite Hashira is from Demon Slayer. I'm curious. We will see you guys for the next video. Bye.